Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I'm talking about the Joker trailer. The movie was directed by um Todd Phillips after starring in it all Joaquin Phillips. Joaquin Joaquin uh, Joaquin Phoenix, um Zaza Zazi Beats, Robert De Niro, Brian um, um Tyree um, Henry, and Francis um um Conroy. And this movie is pretty much the origin of the Joker. And watching this trailer, the trailer is amazing. It looked look fantastic. Now, when I first saw the first test footage of the Joker um, makeup, I wasn't quite down for it. But seeing it now, and seeing it all played out, and watching him in this whole uniform, it looks it looks amazing. It looked fantastic. Joaquin looks like he, it's not all the dialogue in this trailer, but the, the performance that, he, that Joaquin is um, giving is just amazing. It really does draw you in. You actually feel kind of sorry for the, for for um for um Arthur while he's starting to transform into the Joker, and you start to see it. Slowly but surely, as time goes on, because he looks like he, he's a guy, maybe having some problems at home, maybe maybe has some suffering a little bit of mental illness, but he's trying to make it in this world, and this world is crazy, and the world is hard, and it's, it's, and, and no matter how hard he tries to bring to bring light to the world, it keeps it keeps getting smashed down by darkness, and, the, and 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 for a while he thought that this was the tragedies of his life, he thought that all this stuff going through him making his life worse, but then he started to realize this is not worse, this is a joke. All, all the thing I'm going through, everything that's happening to me, is all part of the punchline. It's all part of the joke. And so instead of me trying to fight against it, maybe I should just embrace it. And you start to see him slowly become the Joker. Yeah. You see, you, I think you, you even see him see uh, get get this um meet Bruce Wayne a little bit. At, 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 you see him at the gates, and he's getting he's, he got this child he put him, trying to put a smile on his face. That's Bruce. That's just young Bruce. Yeah. Now, the trailer looks good. I'm excited for this movie. I'm down. But I have one problem. As a comic book fan, the Joker doesn't have an origin. He does not have an origin. He has plenty, he has many of origins. A lot of them are lies. A lot of them are st stories he made up himself. A lot of them are things he used to manipulate Hardy to get him to get him on his side. He has a lot of different versions of the Joker's origins out there. All of them made up. None of them all had been proven to be true. And I like that about the Joker. That's part of his mystique. That's part of his thing. Because you don't really know what his motivations are. You don't really know what his, what his, what his main goal is. He's just a guy who wants to make chaos. He's insane. He sees the world as insane. And he wants us to, he wants us to accept it. And so he'll do anything he possibly can to, make, to show us that he's right. That's all he wants to do. Would he go away after that? I don't know. You don't know. We don't, nobody really knows where he comes from. But seeing the trailer, this trailer right here, the only problem I have is giving or, the Joker an origin is like explaining magic to somebody. A magician. Like, you see, you, see a, you have a street magician. He does this trick, blows your mind. Don't know where it comes from. Don't know how he did it. You can't figure it out. It's amazing. Because that, that makes it magic. But then when somebody comes along and then explains to you exactly what they did, Tells you the steps by steps and leads you through the whole process. It's not as fun anymore. Now sometimes it can still make it more amazing, like just wow, I, I, I took a lot of work. And sometimes it was like this, oh, that's it. That's all they did. Oh, it kind of oh, kind of let me a little bit down. See, that's that's the only thing about the movie that I'm scared of. That the only villain Joker's origin. It may not be. It may let the character down a little bit, cause you might just, cause you, cause you like this. I mean, you once you realize exactly what happened. It's in your head now, and you can't take it back. Now, this doesn't affect the comic books at all. The comic books version of the or Joker is still going to be the same. But, 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 but everybody don't read the comic books. So the general public who don't read the comic books or like to take this origin as the truth. And that's not good. I know. Because he doesn't have an origin at all in the comic books. So give him an origin now in the movies, I don't know. I don't, see, see the, the trailer looks good. The performances I saw looked fantastic. The music choice they played in the background was great. And watching him in his whole uniform and him walking on the steps, I mean, walking through the hallway with the roses in his hand with that Joker swag and him dancing on the steps, fantastic. I said, yes, but the, but give him an origin. I'm, so, I'm scared it's going to ruin the magic. Because would the origin be good enough? Would it just be like, would it be that, He's just, he's just a crazy kid who experienced, experienced, experienced some bad things. He just went nuts, and that's it. Or something happened with his mom, and just, he's been, that was the final story, he just snapped. I don't know, but either who. Because uh, on the other hand, the trailer looks, looks great. 
as the for a movie, fantastic. But, but the, the, the thing about this the trailer that I would really love, and this, this is how the movie ends, now this is just for me, and the movie ends like this. After the end of the movie, it cuts to the Joker talking. He's in a straight jacket, and he's talking to Harley Quinn, and he's telling him his life story. And then that she, you, you can see, it cuts to her face, and she can, you can see the sympathy she has for him, and you start to see that she starts to fall from him a little bit, and then it cuts back to him, and he's smiling, and it just goes off like that. Says, yes, because that, that, all that means is all this, all this story was a lie. <laughs> now I don't know how many people might be, might be satisfied with that, but that would make me happy because we found out this, this whole this whole movie was a story the Joker told to, 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 to confuse Harley, the Harley Quinn, to, to stop her from being a psychiatrist, to, be, to become Harley Quinn. I'm just, I, I, that would make me happy. But either way. But overall, like I said, the trailer looks fantastic. It looks good. I want to see this movie. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about the Joker trailer. Did it get you excited? Are you in? Or how, how do you feel about the trailer? Are you looking forward to the origin? Or do you think the Joker shouldn't have an origin? Leave comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am. The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.